Greetings, I'm Dr. Robert, and on this edition of Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, the subject is the chakras. Please note my pronunciation. That's chakra, not chakra, not chakra, for sure not chakra. Thank you very much. The chakras are highly misunderstood. Many people are absolutely certain that there are six chakras, no more and no less. In fact, there are a number of different chakra systems according to the kind of sadhana that requires you to create a chakra or more than one chakra within yourself. I noticed that I did say the word, use the word create, because in fact the chakras do not exist as chakras in an individual until that point where they are created. Where and why are they created, you will ask, and I will say that they are created in the very subtle portion, possibly the subtlest portion of your subtle body within Sushumna. And to give an idea of the fact that even in Sushumna there are gradations of subtlety, they speak of there being three different sheaths, one within another. So a ver the chakras, number one, are extremely, extremely subtle, subtle, subtle. And in the context of these six chakras that we think we know uh, and love very well, the lower five of them, in the form in which you and I are experiencing them cur currently, these chakras are not chakras at all. They are knots. They are knots that tie down the subtle body to the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and space, the five elements that make up our individual microcosms, our physiological experiences of life, and the big world outside. So it is only when you have brought to bear a good deal of attention and prana, usually in the context of a focused sadhana, if not in this lifetime, in a previous one, it is only then that a chakra will be created. Yes, there are as a result of there being these knots that are tying down these uh, five elements to our uh, uh, subtle bodies, these are locations where there is a large amount of focused prana in the organism. And naturally, as we go to the less subtle, the more dense and gross varieties of experience in the organism, they will manifest themselves in the context of the tissues uh, at whatever level they appear. So yes, we will have nerve plexuses. We will even have nadi plexuses in the denser, grosser part of the subtle body. But even those nadi plexuses are not the real chakras. The real chakras are extremely, extremely subtle. We really do not encourage people to activate their chakras before their subtle bodies are purified and the prana is circulating very calmly, very slowly, and very regularly. Because if you disturb the connection between one or more of these five elements and your subtle body, it's quite possible that you will throw your entire organism into a very deep state of imbalance. Imbalance at a very existential level because of the necessity for us to be able to align ourselves with the five elements in a, pos in a positive way in order to do the various things that we want to and need to do in the context of our day-to-day -day lives. So, um, and as my mentor pointed out uh, repeatedly, it is also the case that if you focus on one chakra, it's quite possible that you will put so much energy and so much attention and awareness into that chakra that it will take over your life and start dragging you in the direction that it wants to go instead of the direction which you want to go, which is in the direction of the supreme reality. So please salute the chakras, acknowledge that they are valuable, but don't try to do sadhana of the chakras unless your guru specifically tells you to do so. This is Dr. Robert thanking you and wishing you a very pleasant experience of reality. Om.